2005 Crown Line 202 LPX. 21 foot IO. That's fully loaded. You got the tower, uh, tower mounted uh, rear view mirror, board racks. Has on it right now an additional ski rack that's interchangeable. You got docking lights, captain's choice, which takes the exhaust from the rear and shoots it out the sides. It's got a cockpit snap on cover, a bow snap on cover, a full road cover, and has a what we would call a camping enclosurement with windows in case you're caught out in a rainstorm. It's got the 350 uh, MPI multi port injected engine. Beautiful one owner bow. Uh, traded into us at N3 Boat Works. We've done uh, normal maintenance on it so that it is ready to go to the next owner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump on the inside, take a look at the interior features, and then watch some running video of this 21 foot crown line. All right, now we're on the inside of this uh, crown line 202. Uh, LPX uh, it's been meticulously maintained so everything I mean it's just in fantastic condition all the vinyls in great condition uh, the carpets and carpets really clean um, not enough nice things to say about this this one owner boat um, gonna go ahead and lift the engine hatch here show you some of our storage options so you got nice storage down uh, the starboard side and the port side this is the uh, cover that's one of the covers, that's the full uh, road cover that you see down that side. Here's our Merc Cruiser 350 Mag, multi-port injected engine. Nice gas shocks, so you're not having to hold it up. Take a look, nice back bench. What's really neat about the back bench is, let's see if I can do it one-handed here. folds out so you have this really nice uh, actual layout here so you have the back up there you can lay out and then you got this nice sun pad right here uh, for a little bit more of a private layout uh, or or leg extended sit nice open bow with the bow filler cushions uh, you can take those out and have a nice walkway through or leave them in have a nice big play pin uh, your seats here are hinged. They open up for storage. You can see we have the other cover right up here. It goes up all the way around the, the nose of the boat. Nice deep storage. Um, I have currently stored underneath there. You can see all those. Um, that's actually the entire enclosure uh, that I was talking about on the walk around. Um, you'll have to look at the photos online to see the full enclosure and what it actually entails. Nice deep uh, ski locker right there. Throw your skis in there. Lock them up. Does That does have a lock to it. You can see right here we have, uh, you see those tines right there? Those are your wakeboard tines that look identical to these. So you have those. Currently we have the uh, ski racks on but you can take those off and put the wakeboard racks on if you don't have if you have more wakeboards than you do skis so it's really a nice option to have come over here to the dash you get your temp oil and your volts uh, miles per hour rpms you have your trim level fuel depth gauge and then all of uh, your nav lights, your build, your courtesy, auxiliary. Here's your exhaust. So right now we're on normal exhaust. Switch that and you get the side exhaust. And then your docking lights. And then you have your trim normal uh, uh, gear selector here so let's take a look at this we have 200 and 
298 hours, 0.9, so almost 300 hours. Uh, beautiful, beautiful boat. Uh, definitely would love to uh, answer any questions, take on a demo. Um, just give me a call at N3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253. Let's go ahead and take some running video and watch this uh, beast in motion. We're gonna start out the running video with the captain's call on, and then Michael's gonna turn it off uh, on the fly. So here we go. 